In the previous episode of Stranded Deep, we found out there is now a gyrocopter added to the experimental version. It turns out we didn't have everything we needed to build it, so I said I would go back out, take on the creatures, and get everything to build it today. Now, the eel and the megalodon weren't really that difficult, but Luska the Great, the giant squid, I don't know if they've buffed its health or buffed its attack. It just seems so much more difficult than last time. I died four times to the squid. It was so stressful. But we've got there in the end. I managed to do it, guys. I've literally just got back from doing it and just taking care of a few things around the island that I was staying on. But I have everything, and I'll show you guys. We open this, go across to medical, go across to story, and there we go. We've got the frame, the motor, and the rotors, which is what we needed from everything else. We already had the seat and the cockpit, which I don't know if they're going to change. Like, it makes sense to add a couple more missions. So you have to get like the seat and then a cockpit from another creature or something. I don't know. Maybe they're going to work th something into the game. But the good news is we have it all. And I've not built it yet because I wanted to wait for you guys. Now, I know that I'm hungry. So, in fact, just in general, it might be worth taking some food with us. So I'm going to take all the smoked meat that I have. Now, another thing that I wanted to take a look at. I was thinking of just grabbing like a load of coconuts. Because if we're out flying around in the gyrocopter... I don't want to get hungry and have to keep stopping on different islands. Although I'm still going to look on different islands just to get supplies and stuff. I just don't want to have to keep stopping for that reason. So I think what we're going to do... Where is the water skin? One stick, two of that rope, and the tanning rack. Okay, I should have everything of that. I did find some piggies on that island and one which is behind me, I think? That one over there. So we've got plenty of leather to work with. One stick, and we should be good. Now, I've not actually used this yet. I've made it before in the update video that we did. But I've not actually used it yet. So I don't actually know how many, um, I guess, servings it can hold. Please be all of it. Okay, it's only three. Is that three? Yeah, that's three servings of... Okay, so it holds more than the coconuts. Wait, let me work that out a second. If it's three... Yeah, that's right. Okay, so it only holds three. I don't know why I thought there was some... Wait, let me just check. Is there something else? Oh, it's the it's this I'm thinking of. Okay. It's the water bottle that I'm thinking of. Yes, because I've not used this before. Okay, so we've got food and water. I had a box. Oh, there it is. I had a box here because I wanted to put all my food and water in this just for storage. Don't worry, guys. We're almost there. We're almost going to make the gyrocopter. I know that's why you guys are watching this. You want to see what this thing's like. Now, do we need any weapons? I'm going to take this. What else do we have? I'm going to take a torch too. Food. What about medical supplies? Don't need the bandages. That was for the... Okay, I'm going to take one of those and one antibiotic. Okay, we should be good. We've got everything. I'm nervous. I, I want to see it, but I don't want to crash. I don't want to crash in this episode. That would be so embarrassing in front of you guys. All right, medical, story, frame. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Wait, let's place it there. Now, I don't think this thing needs, like, a run. Because there's no real flat parts in Stranded Deep, so I'm assuming it just goes straight up. It does look cool, though. Look at its little wheels. Right, open this again. Medical, story, and then seat. Slots nicely into place. So what else we got? Should I have the cockpit next? Sto oh, no, it's the motor next. I'm fairly certain that the devs are going to change things up. I don't think they're going to make it as easy to get this stuff. I say easy because... Obviously, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it was. But Luska the Great, the squid. Guys, I can't tell you how annoyed I got with that. Like, I just kept dying. I'd get, I'd get really close to it and then just die. I was so frustrated with it at the end. There's the cockpit. And the last one is the rotors, I think. And there she is. Look at that. It's what we've been waiting for, guys. Oh, wait. what? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Fuel. Oh, wait. I've got one jerry can. I'm just going to grab it just in case. You never know. If this thing needs fuel in it. Crap, I'm going to have to find some then. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay, fuel can. I've only got one. So hopefully that gets us around in this episode. And we should be able to pick this up. And we are good to go. Moment of truth. I'm actually nervous. I've not been this nervous playing this game for a long, long time. Okay, fuel's looking good. Got a little bit of a compass. I don't know what this is. 
The dial's broken. Why is it hopping around? Right, so... Forward. Okay. Arrow keys make it pivot, and I guess... I don't know what the correct terms are, so you'll have to forgive me, guys. Spacebar is to go up. And that must mean... Yeah, oh, crap. Control is to go down. That thing goes down quick. Let's go up. Here it is! Look how cool this is! We're flying! It's really deep! Okay, I'm gonna go over to this island. I've been to this one before, in fact. We're gonna take a longer trip. We're gonna go over to this one. Now, as far as I can remember from the previous update, the devs left like a kind of side note for the gyrocopter, which said it would basically have an impact or an effect on endgame. So, again, I don't think they're going to make it as easy as it was to get all of this stuff. You're really going to have to grind, you're going to have to search everywhere for things that you're going to need. Even things like, I guess, like the electrical wires or the fuel lines and stuff like that. I think that'd be a lot better than just... Why did you do that? The fuel looks okay. Why is it doing that? Oh, that's got me nervous now. If I crash out here, it's gone. That's it. It's really, like, glitchy, too. Like, it's bobbing up and down and stuff. It's not as smooth as a... Okay. We need to get to that island. I need to work out why it's doing that. I didn't see any fuel indicator on it. Maybe it's just turbulence. Maybe that's what it's just doing. I hope. Let's just keep going. Worst thing in the world right now is to see, like, a bunch of sharks just swimming around underneath us and then this thing goes straight down because we don't have any f fuel. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Game. Don't let me down. Don't make me suffer after what I had to go through with that squid. Okay, we're heading northeast. That's actually really cool the way it's put a compass on it as well. Maybe we're going to get some kind of indication for endgame as to where we need to head. I mean, this thing's not very fast. It looks cool, though. Like, the propellers at the top, the rotation of the propellers looks cool. All right. We need a flat spot. I don't trust my piloting skills not to hit a tree. I need to work out what that red light means. Oh, we got some more supplies here, too. This is good. We got some scrap and some wood. This is going to make everything so much easier. The one thing that I'm a little bit annoyed about, and I, I won't lie, is the... Okay. I'll take that as a landed, is the uh, helipad that we made. It would look so good with this thing on it. Maybe I'll make another one. I don't know. It did take a long time to get all the bricks and stuff, as anyone who knows you play Stranded Deep, it does take quite a long time. That was that wood. But this thing makes everything so much easier now, getting from different places. I think it is a little bit faster than a raft, even with an engine. I mean, it's definitely cooler. Do I want the fiber sleeves? I've got a crap ton of that back at the other island. Just looking for crates and stuff. I could really use some duct tape just to put an engine on my raft with. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm having way too much fun with this thing. There wasn't really anything too much on that island back there. I got, like, another piece of corrugated scrap and wood. So I've got, like, two of each now. I'm going to drop them off back at the island, which I'm calling home for the time being. I think I'm going to grab another of the uh, wooden crates, too, and go back out. I still can't work out why this red light comes on. Like, there we go. There it is. Look, it's got to be turbulence or something. I'm going to get a little bit higher, get, gain a little bit more altitude. I don't want to go too high, though. I remember in the old version of the game, like, you could do this really weird trick with driftwood, where you could almost ride it across the different islands, and then it'd fire you straight up into the air, and it would kill you, so I don't want that to happen. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that view. Turn around. We need to see this. Right, just hover gyrocopter. Look how cool that is. Look at the colors. He's still doing that red thing, even when I'm hovering. He's still doing that, and there's no lights on this either. Oh, wait, is there? Oh, no, that's coming from my my watch. I mean, the dials on the dashboard are the uh, on the cockpit, but that's about it. I want to see what it looks like when it gets dark when you're flying in this thing. I think we're going to go, like, that way next. So let's land this. Let's see if my piloting skills have increased. Actually, one of the things that I just thought about while I was on the other island is some kind of, like, skill tree system to Stranded Deep. Like, no, no, don't you, don't you flip. It's not as easy as it looks, guys, I promise. 
go forward a little bit and we good we're good it just slams to the floor like there's no finesse to it you just go from there to there right i'm gonna drop this here do i have a torch i'm gonna drop you there medical you know what we're just gonna go out and we're gonna make a day of just scavenging stuff that's the whole point of having this thing right now because there is no end game so i may as well just fly around and see what we can find couple of the scrap We've got a couple of wood too what else did we get oh yeah i found leather on the boat too right i'm just gonna drop all this stuff off and i think what we're gonna do then is head over that way so i'll see you guys in a second Okay, guys, we're back, and I've just realized something. Remember when I used to say to you guys that I would go and look for Wally in the game? Like, it's still a mix. Some people said he is in the game. Some people have said the devs have taken him out, but that's not going to stop me looking for him. There were certain parts on islands that I could just not reach. Let me see. No, this is one of them. I mean, I could build something going up to there, but it was always a pain, and I'd blow through resources in order to try and climb up to the top of something like this. But now we have the gyrocopter. I can search the top of them. Now, I don't know about landing it because that's going to be a whole new story, but I'm going to give it a go. Now, also, you'll notice that I've got a torch in my hand. This is a trick that I use when I'm on the rafts, especially trying to get stuck. Do you guys just see that? Something just threw a crate at me then. Is it Lusk of the Great coming for revenge? I am 99% certain that was a crate. Okay, I can't see anything. And by the time I went a little bit further out, there was a tiger shark that came in. And I don't really want to be messing around with that thing. So I just went back to shore, grabbed a quick pit stop and rehydrated. And we are good to go. What I was about to say to you guys was there's a little trick that I use when I'm on the raft in this game. If you turn the torch on before you head out, it acts as like a spotlight. I just thought, like a spotlight with a helicopter, that could look really cool. So let's give this a try. Oh, it does work. Look, you've got like our very own little spotlight. Is it going to work well though with us being like sat there? Oh, it does. Oh, we can properly search for Wally now. The light dims down a little bit, but you, I mean, you can clearly see. Look at that. It definitely lights an area up. Right, let's go to the top of this and see if we can find him. Even if he's not in the game, it's an, it's an adventure, guys. I need to, I really need to work out why it's doing that flashing thing. Wally, are you around? I'll find you, Wally, one day. I mean, I've already found him, but it's been like a good couple of years since I've seen him again. Oh, we've got to watch out for the trees. All right, which way are we headed now? I think home is, I think home is that way. Yeah, it's over there. That's our home base island. That's what I'm using right now. That is where Luska the Great was. And I don't want to land on one of those things. One, they're still stupidly loud, like the ambient noise around it. And two, the top is really narrow. And I don't want to lose this thing into the ocean. Let's just fly across. I'm going to try and get a little bit lower and see. Maybe we can see some of the ocean life. Okay, so definitely harder to see into the ocean with the, uh, with the torch. You can see better on land. Oh, there's a shark. You guys see that? Look at that. Is that a great white or is it a tiger shark? It's pretty big. Oh, this reminds me of that video that I was telling you guys about. Look at this. The tiger shark's coming close. Oh, the great... No, that's a great white. It's too big. This reminds me of that video that I told you guys about with the, uh, the suspected Megalodon footage with the Coast Guard that's rescuing that person out of the ocean. Okay, the good news is I made it across the stretch relatively safe and sound. But the thing that's worrying me the most is this red light. I can't understand why it keeps coming on. And if it's just something that the devs have added to the gyrocopter, then I hope they take it out because it's making my nerves bad. So we're going to go to this island and one, see if Wally's on the tops of this one and see if we can just grab any last supplies. Look, you can see how often this thing's coming on. It makes no sense. I mean, I can understand it if I was close to hitting something. That's just like a little electrical sensor or something or a fuel sensor. But it's none of those. All right, let's land. Wait, actually, I want to check the top of this. I think what I'm going to do before we end today is just go as high as possible and see how high we can actually get in the gyrocopter. All right, let's land this side then. The side with the really cool view. One of the advantages that you get with the gyrocopter, I mean, obviously, you're flying around, is that you can see shipwrecks so much easier with this thing. 
So, if you're looking to just kind of hoard all the resources you can, definitely take this. Wait, we're not down yet. Land. So sketchy, that thing, but it's so cool. Right, any more supplies that we can take? I can only really carry one more crate. We get up. Okay, I really love some duct tape. It's going to go a long way, because that way I can make an engine. Nothing? Nothing on this shipwreck? What have we got in this? I don't need any of that. I found quite a few hammers. I've got plenty of vitamins. And I've got, I think, like three or four carbs back at the base. Is there anything else? Let me just sweep the shore. Some rocks. No, there's nothing too much here. Which is a good thing, because I want to get back in the gyrocopter. I'm going to go over to that island too. I think we're going to head to that one, and then we're going to head back to base. So let's see what we can find. Oh, there's a Doris there. I wanted to take a look at the big gyrocopter. Here we go. Okay guys, we're back, and I don't know where I am. I'm completely lost. I thought I knew based off this sea fort you see to the right. I thought this was my base, but you can see it's clearly not my base. So I have no idea where I am. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna test how high this thing can go. Now I'm hoping that you can get some serious height with this because it, be, it would be cool. Wait, is that just the, okay, it's just freaking out. We're still definitely going up. Oh wait, things are going out of render too. Oh, we're getting some serious height. Look at this. Still going up. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so there is a limit you can go with this. So, so we've kind of reached the highest you could go in the gyrocopter. All right, let's go from one extreme to another then. Let's see how low we can get. There's a shark down there too. Let's see how low we can get to the ocean. I'm gonna try and do this without completely sinking the gyrocopter. I think I've got this down now, how to work it. Where did that shark go? Okay, this is pretty low. Look how close that shark is to us. Okay guys, we're back and I've been playing around with this thing now for a good amount of time. Look, you can see the sun's already going down again. Now, there's a couple of things that I've worked out. That red light seems to be some kind of altitude meter or something. Because when I was highest in the sky, I mean, there is a limit too, you guys just saw that. It kind of beeps quite often. But when you're close to the ocean, like lower down, not so much. In fact, there were times where it didn't even appear. But all in all, I love this thing. I'm so glad that they've added this to the game. This with the creatures, like the bosses that they've added, it's just brought a whole new dimension to Stranded Deep. Now I can see why some people wouldn't like it, because obviously they want this to be just a strict survival game. But I don't know, I'm one of the people that is for this kind of stuff. I like it a lot. Look at that with the moon behind it, such a good way to end. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Once again, if you want to know how to get this, all you got to do is beat the three creatures, the Eel, the Megalodon, and Luska the Great, which I had a bit of a difficult time with. And you should have all the parts that are available right now to build this thing in the game. So have fun with it and let me know how you guys get on. But we are going to win. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.